Hi, I'm Lauren with Back in the Clear Market, and you just purchased the Mila Classic C1 Turbo Team. Woo! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that should be in your box, what it is, and how to use it, and then I'm gonna show you how to change your bags and your filters. So stay tuned, I'm gonna walk you through how to use your new Mila. Okay, so this is everything that should be included in your box. If it's not at any point, feel free to pause this video, reach out to us via um, phone, chat, or email. Always here and happy to help. So what you should have in your box is your canister body, your metal telescoping wand, your three cleaning attachments, which you will have to attach to this little U-shaped clip, your hard flooring attachment, your carpeting attachment, your handle, that's what this thing is, and then your flexible hose. So right now, make sure that you have, oh, and there's two little manuals over there as well. So make sure that you have all of these components included in your box. And again, if there's something that's not here, feel free to reach out to us. So now I'm gonna show you how to use and assemble and go a little bit more in depth about each of the components that are included with your vacuum cleaner. This is your hard flooring attachment. This will clean any and all hard flooring surfaces, even delicate hard flooring. Has the bristles of varied lengths on the underside of it. It's very gentle, but very effective. It's great on pet hair and great in getting them in the cracks and crevices of grout. It's really great. This is your carpeting attachment. This carpeting attachment will clean low to medium pile carpeting. There's no height adjustment on it. So if you have thicker than medium pile carpeting, probably gonna need to contact us because you're gonna need a different head. <laughs> um, there's a little clear window on this, so it'll show you just what is caught inside your, br your brush roll. Always make sure when you have a spinning brush roll that you're keeping it clean. It's just gonna um, increase the longevity of this attachment. This is your handle, your hose, and your metal telescoping wand. Your wand operates by squeezing this lever and you either push out or pull back and that is how your wand telescopes. That's always a really nice thing. Get up all in those cracks and crevices on the ceilings and down on the baseboards, it's awesome. So this is your canister body. There are six suction settings and they all start at minimum suction. So always make sure you turn your vacuum all the way to max suction. Um, and then you always decrease your suction from there. So if you're gonna be cleaning your hard flooring or carpeted surfaces, generally you should be on max suction and then um, decrease if you have delicate carpeting um, or any delicate surfaces such as um, drapery or upholstery. So the different suction settings on your vacuum are all the way to the right is max and that's gonna be like a parquet symbol. That's for hard flooring. Then below that for carpeting. And then you have an ear symbol. It's gonna operate at a lower decibel. So um, if you have pets that are really sensitive to a vacuum sound, or if you wanna vacuum while the kids are sleeping, it's always a great setting to be on. Then you have area rugs, um, upholstery, and drapery. So always start on maximum suction and then work your way down from there. How to change your bags is you're going to, there's this like little thing that you're gonna squeeze, a little lever on the top, and you're going to squeeze it and pull it away from you. And this is where your bag sits, and this is your bag clip. Your bag is gonna slide into this clip, and you want the clip to stay inside, attached to the canister body. The only thing that you're gonna be taking out is um, the bag. So, this is the part that's gonna come out with each of the bags, and this is the part that you're gonna to wanna to stay in the body of your canister. And you're probably wondering why I'm mentioning this. Well, this is our number one replacement for the Mila canister vacuums. People just yank this out, they think it's part of the bag clip, or the bag, and um, then they don't have a bag clip. So um, this is something that is very easily replaceable, but a kind of a pain in the butt when you don't have it. So it's always nice to know right off the bat that that's supposed to stay inside the body of the canister. So your vacuum is going to have two filters. You have a motor filter and you have an air clean filter. As I mentioned before, your um, bags are gonna come with each of the filters that you need, unless you upgrade to a half hour charcoal filter. So one filter is right located right here. This is your motor filter and this is your air clean filter. 
you're going to pull this down and switch out your motor filter, that's a spongy square filter. And then to change your air clean filter, you're just gonna pull up and you'll pull this little rectangular piece of cloth out and then you'll put a new one in and then you'll just close this grate back up. If I can close it. It's kind of hard at this angle. There we go, it's the angle issue. Okay, so this, um, either of these filters is going to be changed when you get to the last bag in your box or every four vacuum bags. Some people like to change it on their first bag, some people like to change it on their, their last bags, but just make sure you're changing either of these filters every four vacuum bags. Um, that'll just keep your vacuum operating at its full potential and there will be no strain on your motor. Oh, let me put the bag back in. Okay, so how you put your bag back in is the directions on the bag, the arrows, are gonna match the arrow direction on this little bag clip. So you're just gonna slide that in, and then you're gonna tuck your bag in, something like that. And this is normal. This um, overhang is just because you have a bigger body style canister, so you take the bigger bags. So it's gonna allow your bags to fill to the, fill to the full capacity of your canister body. So you get a lot more bang for your buck. So we like to use um, the full capacity of those bags. So how you put together your machine is you're gonna lay your vacuum like this and you're going to take your hose and you're going to attach it to your canister body. And then you're gonna take your handle, which is this curved piece, and you're gonna attach it to your hose and then you're gonna take your wand and it should click in place. There we go. And then you're gonna take a flooring attachment. Whatever you choose. I like to always show people that you do have the ability to store your vacuum like this. You can always prop it up so this is on the ground. You do have little reservoirs on the side where you can um, stand it up and, um, that way as well. So, um, this is how you would install all of the components in your machine. This little clip is gonna clip right here and um, then it'll just kind of follow you around. So your hard flooring attachment and your carpeting attachment are both removed by pressing this little button and you just slide it off. And then I always like to show people that the base of your handle, you can take your handle off of your wand. So if you need to, clean the couches, or if you wanna clean out the cars, you don't need the length of this entire wand, but you do need some precision cleaning, you can take one of your cleaning attachments and attach it to the base of your handle. You're also able to attach your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle as well. And this is a really nice feature, so if you have stairs, or if you have um, various levels, um, you wanna clean different parts of your home, cars, um, offices, it's a really nice feature to have just a little bit more versatility. You always like that. So now that we have covered all components of your machine, take the time to change your, play around with your suction settings, um, get a feel for your carpeting attachment, your hard flooring attachment. Make sure that everything is operating as intended. I do want to mention one thing. Um, Mila's have really, really good suction power and um, you're probably going to fill up your bag with your first initial clean. Totally normal. I myself filled up two vacuum bags with my initial clean when I first got a Mila. It's very eye-opening. So if you fill up your um, bag that's been pre-installed in your vacuum cleaner um, um, with your first initial clean, it's completely normal. Um, just replace your bag after you're done doing your deep clean. And then the next bag, it'll establish more of a baseline for you. So you have a really good idea of how often you're really gonna need to change your bags at that point. So completely normal to fill up your bag with your first initial clean. Even if you thought your home was super clean and tidy as I did, it's very eye-opening, as I said. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that you might fill up your bag um, with your first initial claim. 
So now that we've verified that all of the contents are present, you know how to use and operate this machine. Um, if you have any lingering questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always here and happy to help. You can reach out to us via email, the live chat feature on our website, or you can call us as well. Um, no question is too big or too small, we promise. Um, we do have a full-time um, customer service and troubleshooting department, so we're always here and happy to help. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Clear Market, and I hope you're enjoying your Mila Classic C1 Turbo Team.